Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your March 2019 relationship reading. It's Rena here. So I just want to say, Gemini, that um, I, I've had to start over a couple of times. And this is meant for people who are having difficulty in their relationships. If you're single and looking for a love reading, I've already posted one of those. And um, sometimes, well... I've done this very occasionally. I've had two separate love readings for singles and couples. And uh, this is also for couples, if you've broken up with somebody, but you were thinking of getting back together with them. And the other thing that I want to say is that um, if, you're, if you're happy in your relationship, this isn't for you. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, this is only for people who are looking to mend their relationship in some way or a sign to, to leave their relationship. The heart of the matter is the star card, which can indicate healing within a relationship. Maybe you thought that all was lost and now you realize that there is the ability to forgive. You know, for instance, if it's infidelity or something like that, you might have thought that it was unforgivable and now you realize I can, I can um, get past this. And um, the other thing about this is if it, this could also be if you have separated over an infidelity and you thought that you were going to get divorced. So we have here in the past, past position the Hierophant, which is connected to marriage. So this may be what kind of motivated you to stick around and not just walk out or to not just file for divorce. You might really value marriage or um this is also a card of conformity so you may or a tradition i should say so if it's not if you're not married to the person you may have thought that you were going to get married to him and that or i said him oops i don't mean him it could be her too um but that infidelity was going to uh trip you up and make you less likely to but you might still be like saying you know what i don't think this is a deal breaker and if that's the case um hopefully there are signs other than empty promises to back up this person's claim because uh you don't want to you don't want to like totally uh look past what somebody has done right? Just because you want to maintain the relationship. So I have to believe that something has occurred that has made you regain your trust and heal and start at least starting the healing process. And because you have Jupiter in the seventh house of committed partnership, this could be really helping this matter where it's infusing positive energy into it, and maybe that's part of the healing as well. We have here, as the spiritual message, the Six of Pentacles, which, if you see the scales, is all about give and take. So let's use the scenario of somebody who um, cheated on their partner. I know this is going to sound controversial, but please hear me out. I do believe that it is possible for a person to cheat because the other party is not giving them enough attention. And I don't mean because they're narcissists and they crave endless attention. I'm talking about just an average person. So let's say the partner's a workaholic. That could lead to uh, the other part person feeling neglected in the relationship. And then they get lonely and then they stray because they're looking for that human companionship, okay? And so my point is not to justify infidelity, but to show how certain actions on even the other person's part can lead to uh, these things happening. And of course, everyone has to take responsibility of how they handle it. They can always say to their partner, um, I feel neglected because you work long hours. You don't have to do something behind a person's back in order to get your needs met, right? So please, I totally get that. But some people, they're like passive aggressive. 
They are, you know, there's all kinds of reasons they're afraid to, to say to their partner the truth. And so they would rather uh, go outside of the marriage to get their needs met. So um, the point being that whatever has happened, you're willing to um, let bygones be got bygones. And also... It's showing you the need for balance in relationships, of balance of energy, because even though these are pentacles, and pentacles usually are about dollars and cents, right? This is a love reading, so we have to translate that into how it, how it pertains to relationships. And it's about um, both people putting into the relationship. And if you don't feel like you have that, then that is the sign that you need to find that and that other people do have that in relationships where both parties are eager to be in that relationship. Don't think that because you have a certain pattern, Gemini, that that's just how it has to be. It doesn't. And by the way, um, this, this can be, if we look at it from that standpoint of if you really feel like you don't have balance in your relationship, um, the star card could be you healing from the need to be married. <laughs> you know, maybe you were raised in a very um, traditional type of environment where it was just like beyond the pale to get divorced. And now you realize, no, um, this is not, this is my life and I have the right to be happy. And if I'm not happy with this person, if they're not putting into the marriage what I'm putting into, then we don't need to be married. I mean, it could be as simple as that. Um, what crosses you is represented by the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this is very interesting because the Queen of Pentacles is a double feminine energy. Gemini is a masculine energy. And um, I'm wondering if there is, with that Six of Pentacles, if there is a dynamic of... Uh, some, I'm going to make this a gender thing, but I want men to know that I totally have your back. I am not one of those women that bashes men, not by a long shot. I defend men, but I'm wondering if <clears throat> it, this might be just the, the, just for a select few Gemini women, if you are staying at home with the children and you're with a partner who is using your financial um, dependency as a weapon, okay? Because I, I was going to bring that up, but now that I see the Queen of Pentacles in the challenge position, I can, I can um, see this um, scenario playing out. Or I will make it um, gender-friendly. If you are a female um, Gemini who is... <laughs> I was going to say wearing the pants in the family because that's how you may see it, that you're wearing the pants in the family and that you are uh, bringing home the bacon, the fake and bacon, for those of us vegetarians out here, um, that you are uh, feeling like your partner is not putting in their fair share because they're unemployed or they are taking care of the children. I think it's especially taking care of the house and children because the queen, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I just woke up and I'm very, <clears throat> I'm very phlegmy. <laughs> um, so it could be something like that where you feel 